this box has been up here for a few days and this is all the bees coming in. You can see I've got bare arms. I'm really close to it. They're not at all bothered with me. And we should see their tails go up at the entrance if they start fanning the pheromones out, and I think they will do. This was a swarm that we got in the garden and I'm going to splice it together with the same so we cut them here separately I suppose. This was it. I'm just going to get my smoker. I don't really want to... This swarm, I don't really want to blow their minds. I just want to see what they're actually doing. But just to see the size of it, you know. They are quite... They're very calm. This might become my favourite hive, this one. You never know. We caught them last Thursday and today's Tuesday so things have changed a bit, the weather's definitely changed but what I can see is I just want to see just the size of it I don't even want to know what she's doing really I don't want to, I'm assuming she's laying eggs so I saw pollen going in that's all I want to see I just want to see one two three four five six seven possibly eight eight and a half maybe frames of bees in one swarm and I think that's big because when you buy them you would normally buy them in uh, well, half that size about sort of five frames six frames so that was a big swarm so I've got to put them back I'm happy with that and notice they're so calm I might promote them to my to my favorite hive that one Had the water on your back. You see all the pollen going in. Just right down there. Same stuff, but see anyway. I haven't got the other copy this time. One of these haven't got a clear screw on, so be careful. Right, so it's absolutely full. You seem to seem absolutely full, isn't it? So there could be queen cells here. So I have to just watch them. And if there are any, it'll be just quite quick and just knock them down. I don't want to spend too long in the in the hive. It's not the warmest of days. Right. That's got loads of brood, seal brood on it. And I'm just looking for queen cells. I saw. There's one there. There's a queen cell there, and you can see that's it's quite full that one. So, do I split it or not? I might do a split. You've got to see what the shape of the brood is. There's loads of broods from here. Queen cell down there, I'm going to sit in there. Down there, 
see. And then you've got to check if they're full or not. I've kept that one over here. So I might move that one there into another cell. Into another box. And just raise it as a queen cell. There's, there's one there as well. There's quite a few there. Look at that one there. That one there's not quite good, that one. But if that one there's kept. So I might actually move this to prevent swarming. That's got loads of eggs in it as well. Loads of food on there. That's, these are quite new, these are all new. They're uncapped admittedly, but so it looks like this hive here wanted to swarm, it hasn't got room, it does want to swarm. So the first nice day it will swarm. Have you seen around the entrance around here now, Dad? Yeah, I know, they're just, that's what happens, yeah, it's absolutely loaded. So, I might do, I might just take a really good queen cell from here and just knock the other ones back. Just to that one there with the brood in it so the bees go up onto the brood and then move it this afternoon for this swarm. So the queen will then think that she's the queen will then think that she's swarmed. But for now I'll try to get all the brood. More frames over there. So I just think the frames from there. Like the bottom line is if they have swarm or they're gonna swarm kind of tough. So this goes in here and the idea is that the nursing bees automatically come up and go onto the brood. In hours I'll do that. These shouldn't have a queen in not here. That was above the honey super before. So there shouldn't there shouldn't be anything on there at all. I can quite safely say that that one can be moved. This one here can be moved, so it won't have the queen in it. But it will have a queen cell and it'll have brood. And I can then probably balance the brood out if I want to later on. But... I probably normally spend a bit more time looking for the, looking for the queen, but this kind of, yeah, this April shower you the weather in May is kind of tripping a bit, really. That is all the workers, only the all nurse bees in there. I'm going to test the pups in here. No, 
that's the queen cell, but nothing else. Yeah, that the, the foraging bees should now come back to here, leaving just the nursing bees there, and the bees that I've got here. This is now greatly reduced, this one. But I might leave. Just nurse bees and brood. Yeah. Now, better check them in a couple of days' time. That's what doing. But I know there's no queen cells in here. It's all the broods off. I know it's, yeah, okay, that's it really. But over time, they'll be flying back to here. <laughs> 